Hello, welcome to Sonography Radiology Training Channel. In this series of videos, a case with one teaching point is presented. This is the 12th video in this video series about prenatal diagnosed colidocal cyst. A 29-year-old pregnant woman in third pregnancy referred for fetus ultrasound at 35 weeks of gestation to evaluate fetal growth. The fetal growth was normal and we didn't found any major abnormality, but we found a saccular cystic structure outside the liver. This cystic structure was connected to a tubular echo-free structure also, and color Doppler study revealed that it's not a vascular lesion and is located in front of the portal vein and is connected to the, this tubular structure that it's common bile duct. In this ultrasound clip, we found that saccular cystic structure is connected to common bile duct and at the distal end of CBD, we found a cushionic line represent a colidocal stone. Another one in color Doppler ultrasound revealed it not has any vascularity and it's a cystic structure with connection to combile duct. As I told, we found a small stone at the distal end of CBD near the head of pancreas. In postnatal ultrasound follow-up, eight months after birth, we found another one, the saccular cystic structure. Also, we note that the normal gallbladder near the cystic structure and also revealed the distended combile duct in front of the portal vein, which occupied with cushionic sludge material. These findings suggestive of a colidical cyst. Dilatation of varying lengths and severity of CBD termed colidocal cyst usually manifests as jaundice in infancy clinically mimicking neonatal hepatitis biliary atresia. Todanis classifications describes five types of colidocal cyst. In this case presentation, I don't decide to present complete explanation about these types of colidocal cyst, but our patient was the type 1. Type 1 cylindrical or saccular dilatation of the common bile duct is most common type, about 80 to 90 percent, and thought to be caused by an abnormal insertion of the CBD into the pancreatic duct forming a common channel and facilitating reflux of enzyme into the CBD with consequent inflammation. Some references divided type 1 of colidocal cyst into three subgroups, type 1a a cystic dilatation of the CBD, type 1b a focal dilatation of the CBD, and type 1c a fusiform dilatation of both common hepatic duct and CBD. Our patient was type 1b, means a focal segmental dilatation of CBD. Two rare but well-documented causes of bile duct dilatation or colidocal cysts in the newborn are localized atresia of CBD and multiple intestinal atresias in which the CBD empties into a blind patch of bowel. Prenatal diagnosis is usually made between 15 and 37 weeks of gestation with an average gestational age of 20 weeks in a study of 10 cases. Communication of the bile duct and identification of the gallbladder on ultrasound determine the origin of the cystic structure and may facilitate the diagnosis. Color Doppler ultrasound demonstrate the relationships of the cyst with portal vein, the hepatic artery and the umbilical vein and confirms the absence of follow inside the cyst. In order to elucidate the exact origin of pillory tract malformations, additional imaging modalities have been proposed, like 3D ultrasound, as we can see this 3D ultrasound of fetus shows a colidocal cyst and here we can see CBD. And this is 2D ultrasound image of the same colidocal cyst. 
and another modality is MRI and fetal MRI clonography. As we can see in this fetal MR clonography, we can see here urinary bladder, stomach, gall bladder, common hepatic duct, intrahepatic duct, and here is a colidocal cyst. Although 3D ultrasound with multi-slice view and MRI may be helpful in prenatal diagnosis, but 2D ultrasound is sufficient to demonstrate the connection between the gallbladder and the cyst in most cases. And finally, please pay attention to this teaching point. One should always keep in mind that colidocal cyst is frequently associated with other biliary malformations such as ductal stenosis and coronary disease. Therefore, postnatal follow-up is mandatory. Now, I suggest two others of my videos that are close to this video in terms of matter. Thank you for your attention.